we're going to discuss why the eigenvalues of an operator are independent of the representation you choose for that operator. I'll do this two different ways, um, one that we saw in the lectures and another one which is rather similar to the derivation for the change of representation for um, an operator earlier. So let's consider an operator A acting on a ket psi, um, and that's going to give us lambda times ket psi, because psi is an eigenvector of A. In vector notation, we would write this as A, with a double underline, remember that means a matrix, acting on C, which is a vector, and the elements of that vector C will be the coefficients of psi in the basis we've chosen, um, and that's going to equal lambda acting on C. Now, we assume that we have um, a different representation we want to transform to, and we have the matrices, the similarity transform, that will allow us to do that. And those are going to be the matrices S and S dagger. So I'm going to start by multiplying on the left by S. So we write S acting on A on C is equal to lambda multiplying S acting on C. Now I'm going to insert um, just here the identity um, so that we can turn that then into S dagger times S. So I'm going to insert a copy of the identity operator here which we will write as S dagger multiplied by S. So we have S acting on A acting on S dagger S acting on C is equal to lambda S acting on C and then I just move the brackets so we have S A S dagger acting on S C is equal to lambda S C. Of course we know what these are. This first term is just A prime, the matrix representing the operator A in the new representation, and S acting on C is just C prime, the vector representing ket psi in the new representation. So we have that A prime acting on C prime is equal to lambda acting on C prime which implies that the eigenvalues are unchanged by the change in representation. So that's one route. Um, let's just look also quickly at the second route where we're going to consider the solution of the equation. So we'll take the determinant, which I'm going to represent with a vertical bar, of a minus lambda i is equal to zero. This is the characteristic equation for the matrix um, and will give us the eigenvalues. And we also will say that for the new representation we're going to want to solve a prime minus lambda i is equal to zero. So this is for the new representation. So we need to substitute in for a prime um, and so we're going to do S A S dagger minus lambda um, and we'll now put in an S I S dagger is equal to zero. I've maybe skipped a couple of steps here. Um, so we could initially transform I to S times S dagger um, and then having, do it, having done that we could insert an I inside it but it should be fairly clear what we've done here. Um, we can now factorize and say that that's equal to S multiplying A minus lambda I multiplying S dagger is equal to zero. Now we use a well-known property of determinants which is that the determinant of a times b is actually equal to the determinant of a multiplied by the determinant of b um, and I'm using the little dot here to indicate a matrix multiply or a number multiply not anything else. Um, so that then implies that we have the determinant of s multiplying the determinant of a minus lambda i multiplying the determinant of s dagger is equal to zero. Since determinants are just numbers, we can rearrange, um, and so we can take this determinant of S dagger to the left-hand side. Um, so we now have the determinant of S dagger multiplying the determinant of S 
multiplying the determinant of a minus lambda i must equal 0. Uh, this, of course, on the left-hand side, can be written as the determinant of s dagger s, which is just 1, because it's the determinant of the identity matrix. Um, so we see that we solve the same equation, the same equation, for um, the eigenvalues of A and A prime. And therefore they will sh share eigenvalues, which also means that they will share a trace um, and the expectation value of the operator in any ket and bra will be unchanged by the representation because that just depends on the eigenvalues.